everybody, my name is Patrick. This is a recipe from my new book about geopolymers and this is the basic recipe for a standard all-purpose water glass and metacaline based uh, geopolymer. As you guys can see for 100 grams of metacaline we use 91 grams of uh, water glass solution which is stated down there what it is. 16.5 um, grams uh, of sodium hydroxide and around 25 grams of water. This is another part of my book. Uh, we will stick to this mixing sequence, which is a very good idea. And it basically says that you cannot just mix everything in a bucket together and, and uh, mix. Um, it's rather that you uh, firstly mix a so-called activator or hardener solution which consists of water glass, sodium hydroxide and water. Then 24 hours later, the, uh, need, this, this solution needs to mature. 24 hours later, you can mix this solution with, uh, in this case, MK750. And then you can make the geopolymer slurry from this mixture. And that's what we will do right now. And after that, you guys can um cast this slurry there we are in the laboratory uh, we want to mix a geopolymer uh, based on 10 grams of meta kaolin i like to do uh, this always in the beginning in such a uh, container um, or in this case a little bit bigger one and um, that gives me a good impression good first impression about the geopolymer the raw material and what um, I can expect if I do it on a larger scale. So um, if you guys um, get containers like this, uh, you can get them on Amazon, and then you can make like a number of, of test batches, um, and then you quite fast get a good feeling for the material. What we have is, of course, a scale. We have the meta line. We have um, a sodium water glass solution. It's German, right? A sodium hydroxide solution. And there is a pre-prepared um, uh, activator or hardness solution. Because, as I said before, we have to make it 24 hours or at least 24 hours earlier. Nevertheless, I want to show to you guys how we make the activator or hardener solution. So we go into our um, recipe. It's um, stated there as well. I'm not sure if you guys can see it because we only need um, um, 9.1 grams of sodium water glass solution. Maybe we switch it on. 9.1 grams. 2.7. 5.3. So laboratory. Um, equipment nowadays is quite easy to get through Amazon or yard sales sometimes and uh, scales like this are quite accurate and nowadays like really cheap so everybody can get a basic setup for making geopolymer so now we have the one point I'm sorry 9.1 grams of sodium water class in it the recipe wants us to add 2.5 grams of um, water Two 
2.5. We like that. Give it a little mix. Now we add 1.7 grams of sodium hydroxide pearls. Yeah, as always, some issues with the camera, um, but now we can go on. So I added um, um, 1.7 grams of uh, sodium hydroxide to this solution, um, consisting of 9.1 grams of sodium water glass and 2.5 grams of water. Now I added the sodium hydroxide, so we close it and if you do if you make only like this small amount you can just mix by hand or by this but um as you guys may see um the sodium hydroxide tends to solve relatively um slow and if you make a bigger amount of this solution let's say in a bigger container uh, first of all it becomes like very hot in this case not um, but in a bigger amount, it can become very, very hot. And um, if you then close the lid completely and um, and swirl like this, then pressure can um, build up. And that's why I suggest not to make the lid airtight, but like this. And this small amount, as I said, can be swirled like this. be swirled like this and in this step we want to set it aside and wait for 20 and uh, wait 24 hours to use it that i want to show to you guys the whole process so now imagine it's 24 hours later switch on the um scale take the activator or hardener solution which, as you guys can see, is completely clear. Not as cloudy as this. Yeah. In chemistry, we want to have uh, solutions always clear as possible. As clear as possible. So I put it out. I need of this solution 10.8 grams. Ten point eight grams. It's ten. Another point eight. That's it. Close the solution as um, the hydroxide ions in it, so the substances in it cannot um, uh, react with um, CO2. Now, um, as I see right now, in this um, recipe, the water is not added in there, so I have to add it in this um stage a 
I'll start with 1.5 grams. Some say you should do, shouldn't do what I do right now. But um, uh, what I mean is um, to add the water in this stage, not um, in the beginning in the solution. But um, there are many people they do it like this. So now we can add our 10 grams of metacaoline. Metacaoline is quite fluffy. So it looks like a lot, although it's only 10 grams. 9.8. 10. Now we can mix. So it always looks a little like way too dry. Sometimes it is. Um, so then you can add a little bit of water. Also there are people they um, react like mad if you say that. But add a little bit of water is of course okay. So it's not that we do magic in here. It's only like that. It looks like magic. <laughs> but it's not magic. So I want it if it uh, if it um, touches one drop, everything is gone, everything is destroyed, it's not like, like it works. Uh, as you see, it's very sticky, so that's what I mean. You see, can get a lot of impression from just mixing this. Uh, but this is not literally what we want to have. That's why I add the rest of the one gram of water. one gram of additional water added and go on with mixing. Now it's very um, liquid. As I said, this is only a test mix, so um, you can really make it as you want. Oh, as only a test so once you want to make like buildings from it then you have to stick to a another process more like the process I showed in the beginning of the video oh, you guys see it became nice and homogeneous it's very um, it flows good and in this case or in, uh, in this Example, it would be uh, good to add, yeah, about 75% of, uh, by, by its weight of um, aggregates. So yesterday I made exactly the exact same um, um, a geopolymer because I made a first draft of this video and this is what I made yesterday. Put it out. Now it's hardened. Sure, that happens now. I believe it's, it's coming. Okay, that took me some while <laughs> to get it out. And it's still um, wet, but this uh, water that you see in there, I'm sure if you, yeah, I believe you can see it quite well, that normally helps you very good <clears throat> to get the geopolymer out of the mold. This one, um, I used it before, as you can use uh, molds like this or um, 
test tubes, test sample holder like this. You can use them um, quite a lot. This is what I made yesterday. The exact same, exact same procedure, exact same amount. And as you guys can see, it's nice and hard. You can even hear it. Nice procedure. Okay, guys, I hope that uh, was kind of helpful. Uh, originally, I wanted to make a little bit of better video, um, um, but then I thought to myself, um, you guys can, may, you guys maybe don't want to wait any longer. That's why I made this. Um, as I said, I hope it was helpful. If you like this, um, please like the video and subscribe and maybe you want to check out my other social media content it's uh, facebook under the name geopolymer publishing and on in linkedin at patrick muller the u with two points above patrick muller uh yeah that was fun have a nice day if you guys have questions feel free to ask and have a good time. Bye-bye.